<laughs> Ryan Lindsay with us from Riverside. We're talking about the golf team. Uh, what a successful year you guys had. I'll talk about the, the, the effort. Uh, you got girls and guys with uh, a lot of positives this year. Uh, I mean, we've had a tremendous year going 11 and 1, 10 and 0 in the division. Uh, division champions. Uh, I mean, really, you couldn't ask for a better year. We were hoping to get one more game. Obviously, Scranton Prep losing to them at home. It was a tough uh, fought match, but, uh, you know, they're one of the best teams in the area, so they always go to states. And, uh, uh, you know, we had Coach Simak a little nervous, but they're always prepared for us, and uh, it just didn't happen. We couldn't pull off the W against them. Knowing that you just want to get your players better as the year went on, talk about uh, the work ethic and a lot of unknowns this year. How did it go uh, with that? It seemed like it went pretty well with the type of season you had. Well, we started uh, we started voluntary practices uh, after July 4th, and we were going about three days a week. Uh, we had separate practices. We do have a junior high team as well, so we have a seventh and eighth grade junior high team. We have a ninth to twelfth grade varsity boys team, and we have a ninth to twelfth grade varsity girls team. And we carried eighteen varsity boys, eight varsity girls, and seventeen junior high kids. And uh, Coach Aram and I would be basically having an hour and a half to two hour practices uh, separate with each of the squad so the kids we were able to really hone in uh, with each individual kid uh, we ran stations uh, on the chip and putt we played nine holes uh, on the course we played nine holes in the chip and putt I mean we really worked hard with the kids the kids really worked hard and even on the off days that we weren't doing the voluntary practices uh, the kids would be on their own playing the course practicing their skills telling me they're chipping in their backyard putting at home um, the challenges with COVID obviously every time there was a practice we had a cushion in time we had a Kids would be coming in masks, leaving masks. We'd have to do temperature checks uh, to make sure that you know they weren't running fevers or anything like that. So it was a challenging year, but uh, obviously a very successful year. Golf was one of those sports uh, that people were saying, okay, I think we could golf this year. So you guys were always on the upper end of thinking things could happen. But nonetheless, as you're saying, it's still precautions you had to take. Yeah, we were still a little nervous because we were getting mixed reviews from the athletic directors, uh, from the LIAA, from the PIAA, from the governor. Um, you know, everyone was kind of, I don't want to say everyone was on our side, but the majority of the people and everybody else seemed on our side that golf is one of those sports that you could easily socially distance. Uh, you know, just avoid the handshake at the beginning of matches and whatnot. But uh, playing in your foursome, you know, uh, a par four or par five or even a par three, anything is anywhere from 200 to 500 yards. It's easily enough uh, to keep your distance from other players. Uh, they made the rule, don't touch the flag sticks, don't touch the rakes and that stuff. Everybody has their own clubs and balls. So, I mean, it, it was one of those things that uh, it was very easily we felt attainable to do in order to get the golf season in and obviously it was a very successful one and we're thrilled we got it in. Always uh, I love asking coaches about coaching up kids while they play the game of golf. How much kind of goes into that whether you're, you're working on one kid who might be uh, working on his short game you got a kid who's trying to get a little longer off the tee you got some kid you know got to get his mental game around for putting. Talk a little bit about that. I mean that's the that's the monster challenge in the game of golf everybody versus other sports everybody has their own what they're great at and what their weaknesses are so i mean we we ran a lot of drills that were utilized for every player in mind and then you would kind of give that little individual attention during that drill to kind of hone in on exactly what they were doing well what they could use improvement on um between our starters, our alternates, and even our junior high kids, uh, you know, some junior high kids never played golf before, so we were working on an entire swing. A lot of our varsity boys starters just kind of needed honing in on chipping. Even during the playoff matches, I was working with uh, Brandon Reed on putting as he just kind of hit a putting faux pas, or almost not the yips, but just a putting faux pas during that. And we'd be there after the matches, before the practices, um, doing putting drills with him. Um, Todd Monahan, one of our other captains and starters, he was going through a swing change. Uh, he had his swing great in the beginning of the season, and then towards the end of the season, he was fighting the swing a little bit. So, you know, we had to make a few adaptations and corrections to uh, basically give him the confidence to get out there and play, and especially coming into the, the heightened part of pre districts, playoffs. You know, we're undefeated, there's a little more pressure on there, and you want to be feeling confident going into to play. Um, but, you know, all in all, it has its challenges, and even a lot of the kids just playing together, they, the, the bond and the relationship and uh, the bond they formed kind of just went hand in hand, and it was great. And obviously, part of the season, we actually had to play without one of our best players, Michael Maslenka, our freshman, um, and we had one of the other alternates, um, 
who was one of our great starters at the time, step in for four matches, four or five matches he played uh, to keep our undefeated season alive. Um, but it was competition through the whole thing uh, between Casey O'Brien, who stepped in uh, to fill in for Michael when he was away, uh, Joey Kulikowski, um, Connor McKeefe. Like, I mean, we just had kids just challenging, pun challenging kids. And even we had a lot of the football team prior to football, um, some seniors, some juniors coming out and playing hard and really pushing the starters to kind of keep that spot, which was, it was great. It was, but it was a good, friendly uh, competition as the majority of the boys are very close friends and hang out like outside of uh, the golf team. Ryan, congratulations on a fantastic season. Yeah, thank you very much.